Okay, okay. I was a little late. I mean, just a little bit. No, I had a... John's getting sick. He's sick, and um, Anthony and uh, is getting over being sick, and it's just been one of those days. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a video, but hmm, uh, I had a story uh, that I remembered because my daughters. Oh, you know what? Let me wait for a minute. Let everybody come on. Hey, everybody. Hey. Um. I hope you had a wonderful day. I'll wait to tell a story because I don't want anybody to miss any of it. You know, because I'm a rebel. And, um, you just, you know, I got, I got to get off my chest. You know, God's forgiven me. I asked for forgiveness a long time ago. But I was, you know, I'll tell you about it when everybody gets on. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and I'm on Becky. And her little sweet princess is on right now. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Tommy. Yeah. Hey, Mama. Hey, Nanny. Thank you for waiting. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad. <laughs> hey, everybody. Really quick, though. Really, please be praying um, for all these people that are getting hit with these storms because we're also kind of in the wake of one of them. So, um, you know, make sure we keep them in our prayers and our hearts. So, y'all come on in. Grab you a little popcorn or whatever you want. Or not, I don't know. And um, it's not a very long story. Um, but it was a very um, huge turning point in my life. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the rebel that I am. I mean, if you've watched my YouTube videos, you know that by now. I mean, <sighs> I love y'all. Um, hey, Sandra. Hey, Pam. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, so I will kind of go ahead and start with the story. Since people are coming. I'll wait a little bit. People should go, <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss it. Because <laughs> I was a rebel, you know, and um, like I said, I'm not proud of it. Just, what, sweetie? What? What? It's JJ. You can come see mommy? Come on. I told you they talk to you. <laughs> Say hi, JJ. Hi, everybody. This is my baby, JJ, if you haven't seen him before. He is, this is why they call him a ragdoll. <laughs> they go limp as the dish rags when you pick them up. <laughs> a ragdoll. Okay, so I have a story that I'm going to tell y'all about. And, um, this includes someone that I will include the name because there's no reason not to and it will make more sense so if nobody knows um, me and Randy's oldest daughter Allison are five months and one day apart literally her birthday Randy's birthday and my mother's birthday are all on the same day <laughs> so anyway there's pictures of Allison that's her name, uh, sitting on my mom's stomach when she was pregnant with me. So we were the only two we had growing up. Um, you know, we weren't allowed to go to strangers' houses or any other things like that. So me and Allison were like, like this. I mean, each other's house is either the weekend, you know, whatever. 
And, um, but see, I was about nine years old. No, I was nine years old. I remember it very clearly. Okay. It's, please don't judge me because I've already been forgiven. I asked God a long time ago. I was nine. Okay. But I wasn't allowed to watch horror movies at all. My favorite movie at five years old was Swamp Thing. Go figure, right? Every time I come on HBO, my mother knew that that was my I don't know why. To this day, I couldn't even tell you about the movie, but that's my favorite movie growing up. <laughs> Anywho, so this weekend, I'm at Allison's house, and she, I don't remember what they were called. Me and John were talking about this the other day. It was not the, you know, this the big cartridge it if y'all remember they it's like an album almost like it was like really thin and big and they play movies this was like before like dvd or any of that i don't know if y'all remember those things but anyway so they had and they had all the movies you could think of and so she puts in nightmare on elm street part three okay now, I had not ever seen a horror movie in my life, and I'm nine. And you also, side note, the house I was living in, we called it the big house because it was so big, and there was only four of us. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, anyway. So, she's like, yeah, you know, let's watch this movie. I just got it in. I'm like, okay. What did my mom tell me? No horror movies. So I was a rebel, and I watched it anyway. Funny how that night it didn't really bother me. I don't know why, if it's because she was there or what. But I go home the next day, and I'm so terrified. Literally, it's the only time in my life that I've shaken from fear. I lay in my bed and literally, like, here's me laying in my bed, right? And I would put stuffed animals piling, uh, like, overhead high from down to the bottom of my bed. And I was in the middle. And my mom was like, well, I told you not to watch them. Sorry. You know, and, and so she let me leave my lamp on. And I laid there shaking in fear and thinking, he's going to come in my bed. I can't get to sleep. I'm like, <laughs> The next morning, it took about three minutes to get a shower because a phrase can come through the daggone shower. <sighs> it terrified me to the point to where it was like, I had, like I said, Mom told me not to, and I should have listened, but I didn't. And I paid for it. But on the flip side, it was like, Anything I watched after that didn't bother me anymore. You know, so I don't know. Um, I don't watch movies really. I haven't watched a movie in a very long time. Um, but I went and watched the horror movie that terrified me and my mother. Oh, I didn't have to go get a hickory that time though. I mean, I, my payback was my fears. <laughs> Oh gosh, well, I, that's the thing is, I love, I really, I didn't like the gory, um, fake ones. I like the ones that you know could happen or based on true story. I mean, I love like anything like that. But you know, there was a time in my life that I mean, I did. I mean, there were like you know, girls get together and we'd watch horror movies, and it was like no big deal then. But when I was nine. I knew Freddy was going to get me. And my mom knew wasn't going to save me. No. <laughs> I know, Miss Pam. I got that. I, I really, I, I do. <laughs> Y'all don't know how many times I've literally said, Mom, I'm sorry for every single thing I've ever put you through or said to hurt you or did anything to hurt you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so... Yes, ma'am. Um, I've learned to just and listen. So.
There's Pete. I don't know, but the you now stood there. Anywho, how are y'all doing tonight? I, I'm just trying to stay in a good mood because everything going on and I can't let it eat me up. So, <laughs> I'm glad y'all are laughing. Because <laughs> I would. <laughs> I can laugh now. <laughs> Back then, I, I, I literally, I mean, shaking terrified. I mean, it was just... No, you know, no. <laughs> so, anywho, no, I mean, I make my own movies now. That's me with you. Because <laughs> I don't have anything else to do right now. See, that's what I had to do. I had to get everybody to bed. I had to make sure everybody had everything they needed, their medicines, the dog. Oh, JJ. Sorry, I shut the doors because John's sleeping. He's sick. One sec. Okay. <laughs> she likes to hear me talk. I can flap sometimes to the point to where I annoy myself. But thank you, sweetie. <laughs> This hurricane thing, I mean, y'all understand my, I want to say so much, but it's just not my place. Well, hey, Jackson, that's, hey, that's the memory you got, right? <laughs> yeah. I know, that's what, that's, everybody says that, Mama, I need. Yet to hear my southern accent. See, I can talk to where not, you know, people will say, you didn't grow up around here, did you? And I'm like, yes, I did. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, but it's like somebody told me one time I was like five, and they knocked on a door, and I answered the door, hello, may I help you? Who you wish to speak with? And I was like five. <laughs> I hope you are all doing really good. We got cats, dogs, cows, family, and a couple things that I don't, people, I mean, that I, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we'll, we'll, we'll be all right there. It's if it takes us one path, is what I've seen so far, is that if it takes us one path, then we'll be, we'll be here. Because we're like really north, we're like 20 minutes from Georgia and 30 minutes from Tennessee. So we're like very northeast, you know, Alabama. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing really good, uh, Duane. Thank you. So, what? <laughs> oh, hey, sweetie. Uh, Emma's over at Lexi's house watching a movie, and uh, the Anthony and Sam here in the living room watching. They're either watching, no, the movie went off. They're, they're uh, doing the little iPad things. They get to stay up a little later on weekend, so. <laughs> Not anything new. Um, Lexi is about to pop any time. Um, I'm saying within like a week to a week and a half, Lucy should probably be here because she's already like, uh, dilated a little bit, but so we're looking forward to that. So just praying that everything goes you know, well and these storms pass and you know. Yeah, they're watching there. If y'all don't remember the original It by Stephen King, I saw that one. And that was, if you liked horror movies back in the day, that was a good one. I mean, he, he's a 
messed up God. He does mess up, and, and it was good. It, it was good. This is like a remake. It's not like a part two. So what they're doing is they're watching the original one uh, over at Lexi's house. So, yeah. Then I, I don't know if they're going to go watch the new one or not, but... <laughs> Emma's over there, and Lex is watching um, Little Booger. He's sleeping, and I'm sure Dakota's probably playing video games. So, <laughs> Yes, Sandra, it is. I mean, there hadn't been a little baby girl since Sammy. So, this is, you know, this is going to be awesome. So, Oh, it's good you went and got that. I'm surprised you found it. I mean, in Florida, they have no gas. They have no water. They have nothing. Right, brother? I mean, it's like, dang, you can't go to sleep. Or he gets you. Nobody can save you. <laughs> it scared the tar out of me. <laughs> Yeah, she be, she'll be 37 weeks, though, like, Sunday, and I never went past 37 weeks with any of them, so she'll be, like, considered full term on Sunday, so it's, it, it'll be, you know, when she's ready, we'll be ready, so. I'll try to get as much video as I can. Last time I got to be in the room with Ollie, but, um, she, her and Dakota kind of chose for it to be just kind of them in the room. Um, so as soon as I can, I will, you know, I'll send as much video and pictures as I can. So that's that's good of him. I, and I just I pray he's careful because they're gonna get blasted. That whole storm is bigger than the state of Florida. So I just pray for everybody. <laughs> The the thing is, remember my in The Shining? Y'all remember when he was like, like taking the axe and beating the door, in the what was her name, Shelly or something? Like that. The wife, Cheryl. I can't remember her name. Anyway, that wasn't in the script for him to do the axe on the door. So her acting like she was scared and screaming was real because she had no clue he was going to do that and they kept it in the movie because that was her real reaction I thought that was like really crazy <laughs> I pray Connie I do I, I still pray you know but if you know I'll be wherever she wants me to be so <laughs> Tommy, yeah, you know, it's one of those, and based on, and people go up there because they want to be, and ghosts are demons, there, there are no spirits. grandma coming to visit you, you know, there's no, um, a friendly ghost in my, no, they're demons, I mean, the people, are, you know, it's like I said before, in horror movies, and I am not racist, y'all know that about me, but white people are stupid. I mean, turn on the lights when you walk in a house, really. And if you think somebody's in the house, you don't walk through with nothing to protect yourself. You don't turn the lights on. And if something goes bump, you go look for it. No, you take off, like John said. You put the keys on the counter. You leave the checkbook on the side. You can have it, and we're out. <laughs> I don't play with that stuff. Not, not here. Nope, nope. Not gonna happen. And John, he even admitted that uh, if he saw something, he would leave me. I better catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. But I love y'all so much, and I'm glad y'all stayed on. Uh, I'm just, I really shouldn't give a time. That's my problem. But see, for he, me, this is really early. It's like 9.30, here, you know, and I don't go to bed at like a.m. So I, the kids, like I said, they're still up in the living room, so I have to go in about 
10 minutes, 15 minutes to get them ready for bed, so. What, what, David? I love Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. <laughs> Miss Ruth, I posted it, and then I reposted it. And I did it one more time, and I was still a little bit late. So you hadn't missed a whole bunch. Hi, <laughs> I hope you are all doing well, and I hope you are all, you know. John's getting really sick. Hearts, 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 I love y'all so much. Thank y'all. <laughs> well, Ruth, you may have to go back and watch it because I told it already. <laughs> it wasn't a very long one this time. It was just something that popped in my head. And I thought of, you know what, let me give him a laugh real quick. <laughs> I love y'all. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, don't forget about, there's this Christmas album I heard about that's, you know, coming out in October. <laughs> it's by some group in Alabama, you know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get this, Tom. I don't know if you heard this. When John first moved from New York, I lived in Birmingham. And me and my brother were, like, renting a house. And in New York, they, oh, well, in Brooklyn, they don't have zipper spiders. And I'm sure you know what zipper spiders are. They're extremely large. And if you get close to them, you know, they bounce on their web, you know. <laughs> So we were living at this house, we were renting, and there was a back porch, and there was like this steep, at least 20 stairs. And so John's like going to, you know, uh, go uh, down the stairs, and all of a sudden he sees it. And it's, you know, from tentacle, or leg to leg, whatever you call them, you know, they're huge. And it starts bouncing, and he jumped off the stairs from the balcony and screamed a very bad word and he says what's wrong we all down here he actually he's better now thank god he's better now but he was so scared of spiders he was telling me that he had got his car fixed and it was cleaned up and he was going out and a spider came down in front of him and he dropped his transmission and ran out of his car <laughs> he said i threw it up and ran <laughs> oh goodness yeah, I wish I could hear it. I wish I can tell you his stories, and and they're funny. But to hear him tell them is priceless. And I'm praying that he will get a little more comfortable. He don't like videos and stuff like that. So he said a lot, brother. He said a lot. <laughs> Yeah. John did too. Yeah. Um, he, uh, he's made up some good ones and he's made up some that are actually worse than the real words. <laughs> but he is from Brooklyn. So, no, he, he, no, he did. He said, I went this time in my life because he used to be a stockbroker and to try to cut down on their cursing and they would say, you know, like, they put it out like flock of sheep instead of the, you know, and um, like hat with an S instead of IT. I mean, he, he, you know, but the one, and he used to say 
GD like all the time like it was nothing. And this is one word that even if I'm around someone that I know and I, I will ask them please, you know, I, I don't like, I, I just, please don't say that word around me. So when I first met him, it was like GD, F this, D. I mean, it was just like, yeah, and all I did, this is all I did. I first told him I just didn't like it, but that, you know, I didn't know him that well at that time to tell him, don't talk that way. You know what I'm saying? This is like a first or second conversation. And so what I did, though, was every time he would say it, I'd go, T.D. I didn't care if he's in the middle of a story, in the middle of a sentence. didn't matter. I'd go, T.D. So eventually, he started catching himself, and he stopped. And now he believes the same way, so I'm thankful for that. <laughs> hey, Bill, are y'all staying safe? Are y'all okay? <laughs> yes, Miss Ruth, especially um, Italian curse words. <laughs> I know some of those. <laughs> John taught me those. <laughs> It would, Miss Francis is basically me saying that I should listen to my mom. I went to watch horror movies and I didn't and I got terrified and I learned my lesson. That was basically the story in a nutshell. But you know me, I have to tell a story because you have to be there. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, I want to feel like you're kind of there. So if I flap, I, I flap. So. <laughs> It's true, Tom. I mean, really, it, people, just, it becomes like normal vocabulary. They truly don't mean anything by it, and John didn't mean anything by it, but he was just so used to saying it, you know, so. <laughs> Miss Ruth, bless you My aunt, uh, uh, ex-husband from decades ago he was in the military and he was stationed in Germany and she taught me a um, shy's coffee so <laughs> I know one more in Germany <laughs> and it's chat head I didn't say the word chat I'm a good girl hey everybody coming in <laughs> it's warm in here this weather is crazy. Well, I'm glad, Mama. If I can make you laugh, especially if I make anybody laugh, is is a blessing to me. That's a gift to me. So I didn't say it. I said shat head. I didn't say that. No, uh. -uh. Nope. <laughs> It might have twanged a little different, but it was shat. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. We love you, too. He's sick and in the bed. He's already passed out, so. <laughs> well, this is the thing. When Anthony was little, right, he was big into, like, Thomas the Train. And there was a, a Thomas episode called Thomas and the Big Big Bridge. <laughs> he's like two. He's like, Thomas and the Big Big Bitch. <laughs> he's like two. He don't know. <laughs> I will, Julie. I will. He's just now getting it. Um, like I was saying before, Anthony's like just now getting over it. And uh, I'm in between right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or it's just my sinuses. So I'm, I'm praying that it don't go no bad than just not. <laughs> I'm glad to make y'all laugh. <laughs> it's very humid right now. I mean, it wasn't before, but since like all the... Yeah, it's like now it's just like stagnant, you know, just still. 
I will, Miss Julie. Thank you, Pam. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll tell you a story real quick. Oh, Lord. I just remembered it. Thank you. Okay, you want to laugh? I love my brother, Josh, but here we go. Me and John were getting ready for bed one night. And Josh was living, my brother, um, at um, the apartment above the farm house. And, uh, you know, he'd been there for a while. So, anyway, Mom and Dad were out of town. And Josh calls John one night. And this is, well, like I said, we're getting ready for bed. And Josh goes... I hear something downstairs, and I don't know what it is. Can you come over? <laughs> He's terrified. He said he was, like, uh, in the corner of the bathroom um, upstairs. So here goes John. And then John grabs, you know, a weapon in case there's, you know, somebody there. So John goes in, and what happens, my mom and dad had come back early, <laughs> He didn't know. But, but before that, so John goes up to, to the stairs to the apartment where Josh was at. Finds Josh. He's holding the plunger in the corner of the bathroom. <laughs> <Right> back. <laughs> the signal just went gone. Just done. I don't even know what I got to, love you. Oh, Josh the plunger. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 out here on the mountain, and especially if there's any bad weather, it pops on and off, on and off, so. <laughs> yeah, so the story being, Mom and Dad came home early. Josh did know, terrified him. He's standing in the corner of the bathroom with the plunger. <laughs> John goes in, and it just... Oh, gosh. Y'all have no idea. <laughs> yes, he was gonna get some money. I don't know. I mean, it had like one of those like showers you could take off. I would have had that metal on me before I took a puncture. We're talking about Josh Suzanne. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, God. Yes, he was he was gonna plunge somebody till they left him alone. <laughs> okay, y'all, if y'all have anything else to ask or say, um this uh, the signal is, and I don't want to have y'all have to sit there and have to deal with that. It's a pain in the butt. So, um, please, you know, keep everyone who's, um, in the line of all this storms going on in your prayers, you know, and say a prayer for day and them because they are supposed to be going touring. So, just know that God's good. So, love each other. Take care of one another, and I love you with all my heart. And remember, there's the Christmas album coming out next month. So, um, my song, and Daddy's singing it. So, like I said before, it's probably, it's not going to be a single. Um, but just to know that it's on the album, it's just like, <laughs> yay. <laughs> I like, uh, Emma says, yes, yes. So, Anyway, I love you all, and um, I'm going to make a, like a video, video story time, so be looking for that, okay? I love you all so much. Thank you for jumping on and listening to me fly out. Um, I'm going to check John, because he, he really is getting sick, so. Um, but thank you all. I love you, and be good to each other. God bless. Bye.